So you guys may remember an app we featured a couple of weeks ago called Act Display. We loved it because it essentially brought Moto X's active display to non-Moto X devices like the Nexus 5. And since Active Display is one of our favorite smartphone features probably of all time, if that's on a different device, it just makes us, you know, love other devices that much more, which is very cool. So we're talking about it again today because it's received an update in beta to version 2.1 and it brings a new UI, some other major features, and we wanted to give you guys a tour so that you can check it out, decide for yourselves that this is an app you should be looking into. We also wanted to point out that you can beta test this. There's a beta group on Google Plus. We'll have details on that over at the site. Now, the developer was kind enough to let us sort of play with it for a few days to, uh, you know, in other words, get this video ready once the uh, beta went live so we've had a chance to play with it and again it's a lot different but i would argue that it's it's different in a good way now that i'm used to it i really like sort of where the developer's going here so let's talk about it the first thing you do and you'll notice which is new is if i hit the lock switch over here it actually powers right into act display so you can actually set it as a lock screen replacement which is very cool so i'll show you that again tap it launches right into it. The other thing you're gonna notice is it's actually showing my wallpaper. So it's actually showing my home wallpaper, which before used to just show a black screen like it does on the Moto X. So it's another option you can toggle if you wanted to show color in your, walls, in your wallpaper instead of just black. All right, the next thing you'll notice is the UI has really changed, and this is probably the most important part. So you've got your clock, and you've got your stack notifications, and then you have this sort of dotted timer that when that runs out, it means your screen's going to turn back off. So the old UI, like the Moto X, used to have a notification in the middle. You could grab that, swipe up to get into it, swipe down to unlock, swipe left or right to dismiss, and that was cool, but they've changed it, and I'm not going to speculate as to why, though a moderator in there sort of beta test group suggested that maybe Motorola urged them to adjust that. Um, so anyways, it's different and and it, and it acts a little bit different. But again, I've been able to test it for a while and I actually like where they're going with it. So this is essentially how it works. You can touch an icon or notification icon and it will show you a preview up above that dotted line. Um, you could, if you want, swipe down to unlock or the new part is swiping up and you'll see these glasses. If you swipe up, it actually pins the notification then up top there so you can act upon it. And this is a Gmail notification so I can actually delete or reply which gives you some more power or I could swipe it away to dismiss it. So you've got some real power there with your notifications in Act Display. You don't even need to enter into your device to deal with that. Now let's say I don't wanna deal with this right now. I can actually tap this icon, and it'll keep it there. And then I could look at say another notification that I've got. So I've got a Hangouts message and let's say I'm done with that. I'm just gonna swipe that away. Now I've just got this one left and the clock. Now let's say I uh, swipe into that dismiss that as well. Then you just sort of get back to this unlock button or your clock. So very cool the way they've changed that. And you can imagine if you have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different notifications, you can act on those each individually. It really makes it pretty powerful. So let's unlock though. And uh, let's go ahead and go into the app and show you some of the other stuff that's new. So one thing you can do is blacklist apps. So if there's an app you don't want to see notifications from, I would scroll through this blacklist section and just sort of turn those on. Uh, if we go into settings though, you'll see up top lock screen. So if you have that toggle to on, it turns your phone's lock screen off or essentially replaces it with Act Display, which is very cool. And I'll actually tap on that and show you that. So you just want that toggle to on if that's something you're interested in. Uh, if we go into active mode, this is one of the new features as well. This is where it makes it a lot like the Moto X. So you'll see it uses your device sensor to wake your device just at the right moment. So in other words, if you pull it out of your pocket, if the device is flipped over or laying on its face or something like that, and you pick it up, it will turn on and show your notifications or the time, just like it does on the Moto X. Uh, obviously it's not the exact same deal, but it works pretty well. Um, you'll have to test it yourself to decide if that's a battery killer or not. I've left it on, I haven't really noticed too big of a drain. Uh, it's very cool though, and it works actually pretty well. So you may wanna give that a run. Uh, we can jump into notifications. This is where you can tell it to show um, low priority notif notifications if you want, like Google Now. Um, I leave that disabled because I don't necessarily want those. Uh, interface, there's a couple of things in here like use wallpaper. So if you want it to be black screen, you would uncheck that. If you wanted to use your wallpaper, you would go ahead and check that. And so that's essentially what we're looking at. It's, a, uh, it's definitely changed and I would suggest that it's changed for the better and it's gotten a lot more mature. Uh, you can see there it timed out for a second and uh, 
and there it's now back as my lock screen. So uh, it's it's in beta. So a lot of this stuff's brand new and it'll only get better. And so I suggest you uh, give it a run. But anyways, go join the beta, check it out, give the developer your feedback, give us your feedback on it. Let us know what you think. That's Act Display, brand new updates. We are Droid Life and we're out. Peace.